Hey guys, how's it going? Oxmas here. Welcome back to Unicross and an incredible update where we got four free polls, which is insane. But I want to start off with some things that we actually didn't go through this week because I was kind of busy. First off, congrats to all the hundred parties in each union who got their union armors. Absolutely incredible. I'm in Ursus with Sea Salt Squad 2. Thank you guys so much for doing an incredible job. We all made it, I think, 24th place we made in Ursus. Uh, a lot of us weren't able to play as much, but still incredible job, guys. It looks amazing. I got the Hades here, hair going on with that. I think it looks amazing. So I was going to start off with PvP, but I want to save this whole 2.60 PvP update for a later video. The video is going to be right after this one. I'm going to go into detail with the stained glass mirror medals because they go hand in hand. The PvP in that I'm going to talk about in this video. But for now, guys, I'm going to keep up the PvP for another video. So this one's not super long. That leads into the limited time stained glass medals. EX medals, guys. These are beautiful. If you don't know what these are, they're basically, um, if you play the Kingdom Hearts series, these are like the dive into the hearts of the characters. There's a stained glass. There's a whole bunch of story behind that. I don't want to spoil anything just in case you don't play the games and you're planning to. But uh, these are just absolutely beautiful, guys. Absolutely beautiful. First draw is free. This is in celebration of 8 million downloads, which is so, so nice, but at the same time, so, so tempting. So what I was talking about when it comes towards... Uh, the whole PvP aspect is that we're gonna need new buffers and these metals are buffers along with being super damage if they're in the beginning of your keyblade so each one says inflicts more damage the smaller the slot number so meaning these guys have to be dead smack in the mid in the start of your keyblade I would say the first three slots I did a, a little uh, test way in the beginning when a certain metal came out that says deal more damage in this slot in the beginning i tested it out by switching the slots and seeing what damage it did on the same enemy and it doesn't go from 10.82 to 15.46 there's actually multipliers in between it so you can put on the first second or third slot third slot is pushing it first slot is best third slot is worse and so on. It could be maybe a little bit more, maybe even the four slot, but you're losing a lot of potential there. But that doesn't really matter when you have this much buffs and debuffs. So let's keep that in mind when you guys are looking at this, because you might be like, wow, great multipliers, great buffers, but they have to sit in the beginning of the Keyblade. Now, with the whole PvP thing, guys, I was just talking about, we're gonna need new buffers if we're not allowed, if we're not allowed to use multiple copies of Kyrie or Xion. So, even if you don't have multiple Kairis or Shions, you're going to need new buffers regardless, and that's what these medals are. These are designed specifically for PvP coming up. Because, if we go into the shop right now, they're here for 24 days. So, do not start pulling right now, guys. Do not waste all your jewels, because one... Nick and Judy is a metal, and that metal is incredible and fits so good on multiple Keyblades. Two, Toy Story collaboration should be um, not in May, but June or July, depending when the actual world opens up in Disney World. So, we got to take that, take that consideration. We're going to need jewels for that. And also, with all these metals, we're going to need skills. And that means Avatar boards still have to come out with Attack Boost 6 Max with SP Gauge Zeros on them. We're going to need a bunch of jewels. So, do not go ham on these because you have 24 days. I like to wait until the last week or the last day. When it comes to this kind of banner, you can wait for the last week, but there's always updates on Twitter with they're going to release three hours, four hours before uh, they actually switch over. So you guys have time. Do not start pulling. Do not start wasting all your jewels unless you know that's what you want and you have the spare jewels. But for me to go for this, I gotta, I gotta waste four pulls now. After you do your free pull, you're only looking at 12,000 jewels. So if you want one of these medals, all you need is 12,000 jewels. I do not recommend to pull after five times because you get a trait medal every single pull. Every single pull is guaranteed a trait medal of these. So you're going to have five trait medals and you're going to have the main medal itself if you do five pulls. Because I'm pretty sure that it does not take the place of the guaranteed. It says guaranteed trait medal. So you're guaranteed five of them, guys. With that also being said... What Keyblade setups do we do for this? Because how good are these? How much are they going to change our game for someone that has like extra attack Shion or Kairi or an extra attack copycat medal? How important are these medals? What do they offer? So let's go into detail with these medals, guys. What Keyblade setups? Where can we put them? What can we replace them with? Does it really replace Kairi or Shion? 
all of that depends on what skills you have, what if, what quests you're facing, uh, what the enemy's defense is. A lot of things go into consideration for this, but the main thing, guys, these are PvP medals. Remember that these are made for the PvP coming up because every Keyblade is going to be predetermined depending on the months. We're not going to use the same Keyblade all the time, so we're going to have to have different buffers and different Keyblades to have really, really good medals. So. Starting off guys, uh, the first common thing is that these medus, they have an issue. The first issue is that they are designated on their attribute. So let's look at it real quick. The aqua metal only buffs and debuffs magic attribute. So only magic medals are going to benefit from this metal. Same thing with the Venetus here and Ventus. It's only magic. And of course, there's no image for this one, but this is the power version. The Riku and the Roxas, they're only good for power. So, in an opinion of will these replace Kairi or Xion? I don't think so because if we look at Kairi and Xion, these are all the negatives. I'm going to point out all the negatives about these medals first, and then we're going to go into all the positives. So, negatives is comparing it to Xion or Kairi, which... It's only because we were asking, does this replace Kyrie or Xion? Uh, do I need to use Kyrie or Xion if I'm using these? I would say yes and no, depending on the setup. But let's look at the cons. First con is attribute. It is only specific to its attribute, magic speed or power. You have to use a Keyblade for that. If you are okay with that, then that's not a con. But enemy countdown plus one. You don't have a way to ignore enemies' counters and add to them, which is a huge thing. And these new medals deal six hits, which is really a lot. If you look at the 13th quest on Vexen, he had 15 counter above his head. And six hits right in the beginning is a lot. And if you don't have a Kyrie or Xion to up that or Warrior of Light or any medal that says uh, up the enemy's counters, then you're going to be into a, a lot of trouble trying to beat those kind of quests. So in that situation... That's a huge con. Second is HP recovery because one, there's long quest that we need defense boost. Like Vexen, we could turtle it, but we need to restore a way to restore our HP after we got hit. That's not so much of an issue because we have HP recovery and second chance. So we technically have three turns where we don't have to worry about our HP at all. So that doesn't matter. But there's metals that say deals more damage the higher your HP. So let's say we go through a full rotation our first turn and uh, we deal a ton of damage, but then enemy hits us, kills us, we come back with HP recovery. We only have one HP. So what happens to that metal that says deals more damage the higher HP? It doesn't do its full potential because we don't have a Kairi or a Xion to restore that HP. So that's a huge thing. There's a lot of good metals in the game, even up to date metals right now that say you need max HP to do the most damage. So that's a huge con right there. And the other one is if you do not have a Keyblade setup full of low cost metals, like I'm talking about every metal has attack boost six max with SP gauge zero, you're gonna have a hard time doing multiple turns because if you cannot restore gauges, you're really not gonna be able to last three turns. First turn, HP recovery and second chance, that's three turns and you better have enough gauges if you're not gonna use a Kairi or a Xion or another metal that restores SP. So that is four cons. That's a lot of cons to these metals, but it depends on the quest and the situation you're in. Some enemies, all you need is just that one big hit and you're done. You just need that one turn. You don't need multiple turns. So you don't need the countdown. You don't need the HP recovery. You don't need to restore your gauges. None of that matters, but there's plenty of quests because the game's getting harder and harder that we're going to need all of that. So that is the cons to these metals, but the pros to these metal guys is that they increase 40% guilt right off the bat. That's to themselves and everything else in front of them. On top of that, even if you don't decide to guilt these medals and you just get one and this is all you're going to use it for, having that 7 strength and 7 upright strength plus its attribute is incredible all-in-one metal. It does not have to be your attack metal. It can be just your buffer in the beginning of the Keyblade setup, which is huge. And you no longer need to copy Kairi or Xion because... Copying Kairi or Xion was one for all those benefits I told you, but also to get that upright strength all the way to max. And with copycat medals, we can only do six, but with a combination of this medal plus a Kairi or Xion, we can get the max buffs in the game. And all we have to worry about is a couple of debuffs, which is really, really good. So, 
they offer everything except for three general defense down and upright defense down. Their AoE at 17.35, which is incredible, and even at a bad multiplier, 12.14, it does not matter where you put this metal. 12.14, our best multipliers are 15, our Days Riku is sitting at uh, the third slot with, I think, a 13 point something, if I could actually find it. Is it that much older? Whew. Days Riku is all the way down here. He's sitting at 13.80, which when you add the 40% guilt, because the metal itself is showing 40% guilt, it's going to be more than 13.80. But even so, if you look at it just a straight replacement, 12.14 is not that far off, but that is pretty low. You want to go for that 17. So the earlier the slot, the better. But regardless, it's incredible having that 40% guilt. It changes so, so much and being its own a huge attacker. But I don't believe that these straight up completely replace Shion or Kairi in a lot of situations. The combination of two of them together is just a massacre. So here's some Keyblade setups that I want to show you guys. First example is Counterpoint. Counterpoint, you're going to go boom. I'm going to put down my Aqua here. Right away, this is such a good idea because... Well, the multiplier on here really, really sucks, so it does suck. But 1.60 with all those buffs and debuffs and how much damage it deals, it's a standalone metal. And that way, when you bring in your Kari EX here, then you don't have to worry about buffing that metal or copying your Kari because you pretty much have everything now. Kari gives you the general defense down that you need and restores the gauges and all that other fancy stuff that this metal didn't offer. So you no longer need to copy your Kyrie and Shion in certain situations. These two together is just all you need. Now you can go into just pure magic. And if you guys have that Terra, that Final Fantasy Record Keeper Terra, you know exactly what you're doing here. You are going full force on this, guys. And then, of course, you're going to use key art beginnings to copy backwards. Or just drop down your King Trident here or your Genie, whatever you guys want, your best single hit medals to finish it off. But you want to be able to copy this medal at least two times. So two time copy. So that's why I recommend it. And then going into your heavy hitter here. And boom, you have all magic. Like I was saying, you don't need a Kyrie or Shion when it comes to this medal because right here you got everything. But if you take away Kyrie and Shion, there's one big issue. And this goes for everything. So if we go for these Mono Keyblades like Frenrir, Dark Gnaw, uh, Sleeping Lion, Missing Egg, and then Counterpoint and uh, Diamond Dust, they all rely on one color. So if we take all this away, for my situation, I'm going to be going for Riku because my power setup on my main account is incredible. And Riku fits on the beginning of Fairy Stars and he fits in the beginning of Fenrir and Stroke of Midnight. So he has a lot of good places for the beginning, which is going to be really good for PvP. So I'm going for Riku just for that case. But if we do that, Riku, this is Riku, by the way, guys. The image is not there. Riku has that issue of no three general fence down, which becomes a problem because if we did the 13 quest of Vexen level 5,000 enemy, and it's only going to get harder from here, guys. Not having that three general defense down means the first couple of medals are not going to do any damage. And if you don't have a way to add that general defense down, you're pretty much screwed. So let's complete this Keyblade. Uh, in this slot right here, actually, I'm going to put that uh, Riku up here. I'm going to put my Warrior of Light over here. This is my example of my key play setup that I'm going to be doing. So Warrior Light over here. And then, of course, I'm going to be using my HG Shion to copy forward for my Warrior of Light to just do that upright uh, defense down. So right here, I'm going to get my six upright defense down. And because I do have Cloud, I'm also going to add a Cloud there to start doing some really good damage. But also give me the upright defense down. So this Warrior of Light gets four upright defense down. So I'm just going to go pure powerhouse here. And later on, I could also get a new upright power metal that has a higher multiplier than Warrior of Light. Because now I have all the buffs that I need and I don't need to copy him again. But the issue here is we're missing three general defense down. And that's huge. Vexen. I'm going back to Vexen because that's just a sign of what the quests are going to be. He had a buff of five general defense down, I think. Or sorry, five general uh, defense on him, or it was four. It was one of those. But with just this metal alone, he only does four. So right there, none of this is going to matter unless we have negative 60 traits on our keyblades or on our metals, because we're not going to get through that big amount of defense. And the issue with the mono color being the one color, so power, if I sort this right now, guys, to power metals that do general defense down, 
These are my options. There is no good option in the beginning of the Keyblade setup that gives me that three general defense down. And for metals that do do it, one, uh, Ace over here, Asset over here, only does two general defense down, where Ira does two. Four tellers don't have enough. And then you look at Riku Art over here, who has four, but his multiplier does not make up for it. So, in senses, we do have to have Kairi and Shion there, regardless, depending on the ones. Now, if I sort that to, let's say, the magic. Magic has uh, options like, we got Ilsha Izerian over here, we got the Mickey over here with the two. But again, the multipliers aren't that incredible. You do have Days Riku, which, so, Aqua is a good choice because of this. Days Riku complements it really, really good with that three general defense down, which is perfect. But when you look at the power setup, you don't have that option. And again, there's not that much options in general unless you have specific metals. So in this case, these two are really good on the counterpoint. But then we go look at speed, and speed has general defense down on very awkward metals except for like Zack. Zack's got a good multiplier, not the best, but he's only got one general defense down, which does not complete it. Uh, none of these really complete it by three unless you're looking at metals that just don't exist anymore or are really hard to get, and they have bad multipliers compared to everything else. So you guys are seeing the, op the, the issue here is general defense down. If we don't have it, we have a bad Keyblade setup during certain quests. So yes, you can do with El Kai or Shion, but if you get into those quests where you need more general defense down, you're going to have to put that Kairi or Shion in that slot there, guys, because you're going to need that general defense down. And it's going to be even better for people who have extra attack on just their Kairi or Shion because enemies that start with general defense down are going to have a really good time just messing around with you on the first first turn. Your first turn is going to be completely useless if you don't have negative 60s or general defense down. So either way, guys, even on the mono keyblades, you're still going to need a Kairi or a Shion to go there unless you have a really good uh, general defense down metal that fits on the keyblade setup as well. So that's the way I'm looking at this, guys. Um, they're very dependent on what you guys want to do, what keyblades you have, what skills you have, what traits you have. It all depends, but I still think Kairi and Shion are needed in this game. Um, only for certain things, but you can get away again with just this and replacing that Kairi with some other metals that just buff themselves. So even though these metals are specific to their attribute, meaning power, speed, or magic, you can add in to Keyblade setups anywhere. So let's take all this away, and let's go for a Keyblade setup that's like Fairy Stars. <clears throat> so Fairy Stars here, let's say we do add Aqua. It does not fit properly, it's not the right slot, but let's say we didn't guilt her, and we just got her. She has seven upright strength up, seven general defense up, defense down, all that. The only issue is that she doesn't have her own buffs uh, for attributes for all the rest of the Keyblade. So what do you do? Well, we go into metals that just buff themselves. So let's say seven, uh, uh, seven strength up for power. We got metals like the Mickey here. He does that. We got metals like the other Mickey here. He does seven up. You guys got your seven up and your three down. Hercules, Hercules seven up as well. You guys got the dual wield Roxas, seven up as well. So there's metals that take care of themselves. Austin here, seven up and seven down. So the guys, you guys who got four tellers don't feel bad. Your four tellers complement these new metals as well, just because you can just go boom. There you go. He takes care of himself if there's a power slot here. Um, he takes care of himself, no problem. So you don't need your buff metal to have the proper attributes if your metals themselves are just taking care of them. Like, I don't need a uh, attribute buff for my Aqua because he has it. All you really need to do is find other metals that do the attribute defense down. Like I just said, Cloud over here, he's got two upright defense down and seven upright uh, uh, power down, which other metals again. He does his own. Three over here. We got metals like all this, all this. The whole point is that you got to find yourself a way to complement your buffer. So if you don't have Shion or Kairi X, just complement your buffer with the proper metals. But you gotta go look for the proper Keyblade setup, all that. So there's a lot of things to take into consideration. But 
because of the PvP saying that you can only use one type of metal or one metal per Keyblade, um, if you don't, if it's not saying that if you have two copies of Kyrie, you can't use two copies on two Keyblades, you can only use one of that specific metal. If that's the case, then you have to have different buffers. So it all depends on your Keyblade setups, but these can turn out really good as just being the heavy hitter right in the beginning. So I'm going to get... Uh, Riku here because boom standalone takes care of himself then I'm gonna go into my buffer like I was saying before I mentioned this already and You just go into everything you need to do after that This really takes away the need to copy Kyrie because now you're doing extra damage with one metal Then you do this for the rest of the Keyblade setup and do whatever you guys want There's so many possibilities, but that's what you guys are looking at. There's so much to go through guys You really got to choose what skills you have my tablets dying uh, What abilities you have because again if you have SP gauge zero you don't need a way to restore it all that I talked about There's so many things to go about this you guys got to really realize what Keyblades you have what medals you have and um, what skills you have available to you before picking one of these medals. There's 24 days. Be careful, guys. Wait 24 days. There's plenty of time to save up. Give or take every month, we get about 22,000 jewels. So during the last 24 days, guys, you should be seeing around 16,000 jewels, uh, depending. And also, during that time, we do have the Moogles medals. So if we go to my medal list, the Moogle pulls you guys are doing at the moment, plus uh, the the free medal we're getting for the Make Your Mark campaign. If we look at Evolve medals, I think it's under Evolve medals. Let me scroll all the way down. Here we go. I'm getting 2,000 jewels for my Illustrated Moogle, and I'm getting 2,000 jewels for my two medal. Every one of these medals you guys have, you're getting 1,000 jewels, and they'll be here in time while that banner is still up. So you have plenty of time to make your decision and save up jewels to get these medals. So don't worry about that guys you have plenty of plenty of time and before we do these polls that i'm about to do uh you guys also got to realize that these might be part of a high score challenge so make sure you if you have multiple copies hold off on putting them together i know you guys probably want to guilt them right away but just put your trait medals in your five trait medals you're gonna be one away if you get an extra copy of any of these do not put them together they might be the high score challenge percentage medals for nick and judy or something even better in the future don't forget that High score challenge might be around the corner for this. Even though we're part of a high score challenge right now, still be careful, guys. But for now, let's do the free polls I left behind. I didn't pull for Vinitas or Riku. So here we go, guys. This is my main account. I really want uh, the Riku. I really need the Riku. I really need the Riku, and it would be great. But I also really need a Vinitas. I really need them all. <laughs> it's just that, oh, that's a trait medal. Okay, so trait medal. Also, look at it, guys. You're not getting really much out of these polls. So if you are pulling, you're pulling specifically for that medal. These banners are made for these medals because the traits. You're getting traits and free guilt off these. <sighs> Here's the one, guys, I want. Riku. So, Moogles, Moogles everywhere. Give me a Riku I can share. Please. Please. Save me 12,000 jewels. Save me the 12,000 jewels. My upright power. I need this medal. I did not get it. I did not get it. There's the boosted trait metal. You guaranteed a trait metal every single time. So the video did go on long enough, guys. I will be deciding later on. I'm not going to be doing any polls because these last 24 days. Big advice, guys. 24 days. Take your time. So hopefully I didn't go on too much. I didn't replace it. I didn't repeat anything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. If I did, leave it down in the comment section. If I screwed up something, uh, if I didn't add something that's really, really important, leave it down below. Your thoughts, your opinions. This is just my opinion. You guys don't have to follow this. This is just my first look at these and my first impression. It might change down the line. I might make another video where I say, well, these aren't as good as I thought, or these are just even better than I thought they were. This is just my first look at it, my first impression, my first kind of like messing around with it. So take that into consideration. 24 days, don't take what I say here too serious. A lot can change in 24 days. New medals can come out that can replace these medals very, very quickly as well. But these are just because of the PVPs coming out. This is giving everyone a fair chance to have proper buffers and damage dealers for PVP. So don't miss out on this opportunity. It's only going to cost you 12,000 per, and we get about 22,000, give or take, every month as free-to-play players. So you can get two 
of these metals. So choose carefully because the speed one is not there if you guys want speed. Remember that. If you guys enjoyed, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.